Grand Finals. Germany and Chiefs are there to present it. Our last match before the Winter Major has arrived. And G2 and FaZe Clan are the representatives. FaZe drives for first seat while G2 second. Sit back and enjoy the final show of the Winter Invitational. The final show, and boy, I think we're in for quite the show. Achieves G2 versus FaZe about to begin. Mist and company over on FaZe's side looking excellent, but so are G2, both teams sweeping out their opposition in semis. Yes, excellent showings from both teams, of course. Leave it up to whoever you decide, uh, whatever your opinion happens to be about the strength of schedule and what have you. You can't take away that both teams looked pretty convincing in their semifinal matchups. Real question, as CJCJ has alluded so many times before, a lot of it comes down to moments when you get into these one and done type of brackets. First killer steals the ball, scores for free. Not a great start of your G2 fan. For sure, but the demo right in midfield missed taking out what would have been uh, still maybe unlikely first killer getting the goal either way. FaZe get the result they're looking for to start out. Why not first killer to score first? I mean, he's had an absolutely incredible season so far. If, if you break out his stats for his season totals, he's first in score per game, second in goals per game, first in assists per game. He's literally not below third in any statistical category on the season. It, man is absolutely ridiculous, but his teammates have been playing excellently this weekend as well. Missed, just missing that shot, and Bays continue to push on the blue half. Certainly sets the bar to be sure as typical soft shot actually seeing if he can deflect any of those g2 members but obviously in that interview with jane apps talking about how they were really focusing on those near post rotations and being in good communication with each other to make sure they don't get in each other's way fend off a face push maybe find something to work with here but on a pace on some of these touches very tough to control and it will still work out jane apps able to slot one under two defenders from phase jumping in the corner yeah, atomic is just He's just been playing so well today. How many times did he do that in their semifinal? Just creating great reads for his teammates. That's a great flip reset. Giving Jane Apps the chance to go underneath. And G2. Uh, felt like earlier in the tournament, they didn't look as strong. Definitely had a, a couple of things where you're kind of like, okay, G2 not exactly firing on all cylinders. But ever since uh, today has started, they woke up and playing with something fierce. Chicago literally joined the lobby with his uh, with his name tag in parentheses. I'm him. So <laughs> that, should, that should tell you how Chicago's and G2 are feeling right now. A good mental spot, that's for sure. Nothing wrong with a little bit of levity is kind of remember at the end of the day, it's still a game. You still got to have fun. And G2 certainly coming back, finding a nice way to battle back at themselves right back in this grand final. Whoa. See if that G2 defense can keep phase out. Long clear, posting in, tough break. Yeah, first killer was just so fast up to this pass. He's already boosting downfield before Sipical even makes contact. And JNAV's not a bad spot to sit. First killer just makes the read early. He's the faster player there. Unfortunate bounce. I mean, you really got right up in first killer's face. He had the hand up to be sure. It's one of those unfortunate bounces. Post doesn't do you a favor. Yesterday, we had everything going off the post in the crossbar. Oh. Today, it might just all go straight in as what is this oh. shot from first oh. They talk about cutting one down. Oh my God, he sliced that with pinpoint precision. Look at that, gets above the ball, times his dodge perfectly. And I mean, that was about as straight as an angle as you're gonna get towards the net. Great shooting from first killer and definitely is starting to put some distance between G2 and themselves. A lot of time left on the clock. Let's see if they uh, keep just relying on first killer to get it all done here. He's already got a hat trick. We haven't even hit halftime in game one. I feel, like, I feel like I'm still warming up to the series. First killer's already hot. Let's see if G2 can start to warm up their engines. They keep trying to connect with each other on those passes, but I haven't gotten by phase yet with them. Atomic, he had that flip reset pass to Jane Apps earlier, but since then, G2 haven't had as much success. Now missed. Had the read, but defended by G2. Another high touch here for Chicago. And Jane Apps and Atomic both commit for it. Chicago left by himself. The 50 straight over to Sipical. Doesn't commit seeing Atomic there. He'll rather just take the ball back. 
try again. First killer also picking up a demo. Get some space to phase. And they retain possession of this ball achieves. G2 aren't really starting to struggle getting that consistent pressure and possession. Yeah, definitely some good ideas there from phase overall. Typical letting that ball rotate or roll back to their own half, realizing that they rotated a little too far forward and needed to readjust. So it's definitely given a little bit of breathing room for G2 to go and fight for the ball here in the midfield. But now it's really on G2 to say we definitely have control and we're definitely trying to set up scoring chances because right now, Faze definitely pretty locked in on defense. That's a big miss for miss, but that demo on Atomic will stall all that momentum and buy enough time for them to get reset. There's Chicago still going to carve up the defense. That's a dirty flick to the top corner. No boost. Sits underneath it, catches it perfectly on his hood, and just flips it up and in. You're absolutely right, Chiefs. Yesterday it was crossbar hero, and today, nothing but net. Well, I mean, that was supposed to evolve, but... It went in the net. <laughs> Tomic trying to square up, dodges into his 50. J Nap in the air. G2 waste absolutely zero wow. time coming back to this theory. Getting right back in it. You're thinking, okay, FaZe may be able to hold him off here, but that's such a tough one for Sipical to get a hold of. Obviously, he's trying to get back across because he knows the shot's coming, just has to take his best guess from where and try and cover as much as the net as possible. It's all on JNAPs to really take what the defense gives him there, and he put a great shot on target to find an equalizer. Pays all of a sudden. It felt easy. We're talking about first killer's minute one hat trick, basically. And all of that completely wiped off the board. But typical, he puts one right back up there, taxed it on top. Just went through pretty much for free here in the midfield. Chicago normally able to buy some time, and Atomic really kind of handcuffed himself there on the corner. I think he was thinking he was going to have a little bit better timing as he headed up that corner, but I think he realized he overdid it and ended up just dishing that one back out into the middle. This play on Atomic's part, to be sure, and late lead for FaZe. A ton of offense in this first game. First killer trying to get that fifth. Typical will make sure they get it. And a five spot for FaZe here with 40 to go. Really nice push there from Typical. Just noticing that, look, there's going to be a lot of congestion there in that corner. It's unlikely that anything gets punted over my head. We'll position aggressively in case something comes out my way. The decision pays off. He's right there to collect. Now, FaZe in the playoffs, they allowed <laughs> 0.78 goals per game. And that included two teams that are going to the major. But against G2, far stretching that per game average for FaZe right now. Let's see if they can add a couple more. The Chicago comes across. Ooh. He tried to dive for it, but just a little too late. You can understand though, G2 with no time in game one. Trying to get back downfield, and there was the seam, but Atomic couldn't put it on target. Jams, the right idea to go oh. steal the boost on defense, Ooh. but unfortunately no one on G2 can figure out where that ball needs to go in the net, or perhaps more importantly, has the positioning to place that where it needs to go in the net. Phase will keep it down for zero seconds, but <laughs> really just keep away for the sake of it. But in general, Phase pretty solid game overall. I mean, I would say across the board, relatively even, of course, just kind of took a turn there at the end. First killer getting a lot of work done early. And, you know, I think that's definitely what you have to lean on if you're Phase. You got up early and you got up big early, and you definitely put a lot of pressure on G2. Now, you got to give G2 credit, obviously, for bringing that one back, but. You never want to be in a spot where you have to make up that many goals against a team like FaZe. It's not even the first time they had to do it today. Optic scored three goals against them in game four, and then they scored five in a row right after that. I thought we were about to see a repeat. But, I mean, FaZe, those early goals, I'm sure, G, like you were saying, uh, G2, maybe they don't, maybe J Naps doesn't lose the ball to first killer in midfield. But sometimes, I mean, first killer's just doing first killer things. Uh, and,. We'll see uh, what happens for G2 here. What do, what do you make of this as we head to Forbidden Temple? I mean, in general, I think I think you're right. We talked about a lot about a first killer. Obviously, you brought up how prolific he has been on the offensive side of the ball. And, and I think that if that's your benchmark for the best player on your team and he's that level of consistent, definitely going to have to take some time to really focus on limiting what he can do with it. It's been perhaps one of the best can openers we've seen in a long time in this game, or at least in this era of Rocket League, where defense has really stepped up pretty significantly, I would say, across the board. And 
He's the mm -hmm. guy who's out there consistently getting the job done. Probably the biggest threat on this pitch, and I think it's right to rely on him more if you're FaZe Clan. And honestly, they said they wanted to take a few pages out of Genji's book, get more players involved in the offense, and rely a little bit less on, you know, some type of support player come through and be willing to give a little bit more to increase that offensive capability. I think that's a good idea. They certainly showcased that through their last two tournaments as well. I mean, it's typical, you think about the tournament he had in the Winter Cup and missed, who today has just looked excellent. Mm -hmm. And he almost had one earlier, but even had the demo that opened up the goal for first killer in game one. So even if it's off ball, I do think FaZe are really getting it done in every segment of the game. Typical drop past Ooh. the first killer, two to bite. The bar saves the day for G2. That was the dish right there from typical straight down. G2 not ready for it. First killer going to be kicking himself for missing that one. Obviously, it wasn't free. It did require good placement. Just overcooked it a little bit. Now he's got the flip reset, misses the bump, and there's Atomic. Talk about a guy who also gets it done on all aspects of the pitch. Great save there to get G2 back over on the offensive side, and they're getting a lot of good boost deals in as well. J Naps trying to get tricky, but forced back over to Atomic. G2 gets set up in midfield. Chicago forcing out the 50, back over to J Naps. Got kicked off the play, but G2 are. Holding down the midfield line. Chicago had Atomic to bail him out. JNAPS just turns right back into the play. But G2 losing that touch. And JNAPS missed his wave dash. But all of FaZe were sitting back waiting for it. Chicago rips it off the bar. Taken out. And FaZe with a quick transition. But JNAPS is rotated. G2 could try again. But a dangerous transition for sure. G2 in general, they've got a pretty good control of the field. They're willing to sit over here on that face half. It's just a matter of can they find a way to break through that defense? Obviously, a lot of that pressure coming from controlling so much of the boost, but we've seen what FaZe can do on limited boost on defense. This typical first killer, they'll make plays come when you just don't think it's even possible on the defensive side, and that's really what G2 oh. has to contend with. Awkward save from JNAPS, but actually got a wonderful amount of height on it. Quite clear to say the least. Considering that control that G2 had had, to be impressed at least with the first killer, has had an average of 50% in the tank, a little higher so far in the in the set. Despite all that G2 pressure, they haven't done enough to starve out phase. Maybe a big reason why it's still 0 0. G2 trying to a couple different ways to get through FaZe, but FaZe have slowly regained control of the ball. First killer, starting that push, but typical with that touch, has to go the whole way back. Atomic trying to take advantage, but the 50 just screams out to the right, and now a battle in midfield. It's another high ball. Typical gets the first look. Pass Ooh, yeah. cut off by Chicago. Got a score. And Ooh. he can't whip around too quickly. He's got no boost. Atomic has to turn back quick. JNAPS was also playing it tight, so everybody back for G2 is FaZe. Push on the... And typical there, but denied by Atomic. First killer, another catch. JNAPS starting to run out of boost. JNAPS wins the 50 against first killer. Chicago dropped it against Mist. G2 denied a, a way out. Chicago wanting a lot more on that clear, but realizing he didn't really have the boost, ended up kind of just giving the ball back. But thankfully, his teammates were ready there in the midfield. So G2 resets. Going to be frustrated that they didn't convert that one chance where they had got through all three of phase for free. Granted, Tough read for Chicago. It's coming up over your shoulder, off the ceiling, and you really just have to have that innate understanding of where your car's going to be on where that ball is coming down, and just unfortunately couldn't quite size it up. But no harm, no foul. Still 0 0 anyone's game. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Chicago lining this up. Typical. Pushes it away from him. First killer pushing for phase. G2. Feeling a little bit of pressure is when they look out towards midfield, they see a swarm of orange cars. Missed. It's that one up. Atomic looking for JNAPS to continue to trade touches. Just going to get that consistent possession. It's a free ball for JNAPS. And quickly missed got there. Was looking free for a little bit. Still a push Ooh, for G2. Chicago. Chicago waits in the box. One touch. A demo. Shot oh, denied. Typical comes in to save. But it's not over. Atomic slowing it down. Gets two touches. Back to Naps. Zero seconds and G2 take Forbidden Temple. Man, FaZe was working hard too. I'm amazed they even pulled that first one out of the net. They had to make that save through a smoke cloud. Had no clue which direction that that shot was going to be going. Obviously, they know where it's coming from, but you don't know where it's going to go when you can't see. 
That was a huge first save, but G2 doing a great job rallying the troops, realizing the play's not done and we still got good position here. Wheel right back around and they smelled blood in the water. They jumped all over it. Grand final will not be a sweep. But we will get our first, at least game five today. But like you said, heroic effort by FaZe on defense. It's two saves for first killer and a pair for typical and missed, but it's all G2. Jane apps at the top of that scoreboard, but I continue to be impressed by Atomic, where his work behind the ball is simply incredible. How he enables Chicago and Jane apps to to keep pushes going. I really feel like Atomic. You, you talked about him being, uh, you didn't say the first killer of this team, but you were comparing him to first killer in terms of the player that gets yeah, it all gets done. Gets it done, and in pretty much every aspect. Like you need a guy to be somewhere, he's probably right there. <laughs> yeah, I, it, to me that's so fitting. Because you remember back in the day, right? I mean, First Kill and Atomic, they used to play together all the time. Oh, yeah. They would they would rinse people back in the day in 2v2, 3v3, didn't matter. Those two pair up, it's disgusting. Whoa, Atomic what? is disgusting. A quick shot on the kickoff, G2. What happens here, okay? Just a really slow cheat from Atomic. It's actually a slow cheat from both teams. I mean, First Killer was halfway back too. He knew that ball was rolling away from him. He just stopped because what else is he going to do? He does not... He's not quite sure what Atomic's gonna do with that ball, and Atomic just recognized, all I gotta do is pump one top right, no one's getting there, because it's the kickoff. Now G2, a little bit of force. Chicago got the dunk, and a follow-up touch right after. Makes life a little difficult for FaZe in the corner. First killer next attempt to clear, looking for typical maybe, flip reset there, and they find Ooh. the steam! That's the heaviest tra traffic I've seen all day! Yeah, that really was squeezing one through a needle's eye. I mean, Atomic's right in First Killer's face, and Sipical cuts the ball back across the net to the bottom post. I mean, G2's really just following that air dribble, and they're expecting their teammate to get a touch on that ball and lead that one to the corner. So, like you said, finding that seam opened up a lot of space for Sipical to shoot for, and he didn't miss. Just goals like that, you know, pretty rare that you beat uh, the first defender like that on a pass to where you're, you're literally seaming the ball between two cars. I mean, that looked crazy. But G2, non-plus by it as they get the downfield, yeah. He's just not messing around. If they get the chance, they say, you know what? There's no reason to force something here. Just take it back to our half, reset. Yeah, they've, uh, I think, definitely realized the value of not pushing too hard too quickly, if anything, from these last couple of tournaments in North America. All control is number one priority. Good drive from first killer through the 50. It's an awkward touch for Atomic to handle. JNAPS lets him follow through. And again, Sipical rolling out to the side. Atomic under more time. pressure. Sipical getting near them as well. They're just G2 getting chipped. And now JNAPS left a 20 boost. Try to get down midfield. He gives it to Chicago. With that kind of quick shot, FaZe are ready for it. It's no problem for them. There is value, you know, in your offense being able to up the pace. There's also value in recognizing when you can afford to try and let a play develop. And that really does seem to be what FaZe is going for at the moment when they get over onto that G2 half. It's, we don't have to push, we can. And that's really part of the fear of it is you know that they can turn it on at any given point deep clear. Fortunately, not in between the sticks. This phase will keep this one tied at 1-1, but G2 finally a chance to breathe here. We'll see how long this offensive sequence lasts for them. Ball gets away from Sipical. He's got no boost, but Chicago pulled the whole way off, so he gets a chance at it. It makes things a little awkward for G2, but they have a way out with Chicago. On target, Miss takes it away. And Jane has the whole way back on this. They need Atomic to Chicago, but it's pushed out to the right side. Nothing for him here. FaZe looking like they're going to break out. Yeah, nothing for him there because Mist is so good. I mean, he didn't even hesitate on that last clear from G2. Just instantly turned and started running back. Made a great save on a strong shot to the top of the net. Kept his composure, wheeled right back around, made a second one. Mist is such a mind for defense. Brilliant player on that side of the ball. You know, he's really, he's really coming to his own on this roster. That's kind of why they picked him up and at least what everyone assumed they picked Mist up for is to bring that consistency on the back line. And he does it in, in more ways than one. And that's really helped out FaZe for sure. But G2 have kept FaZe out for now. See what they can draw up. That's a good high touch for Jane Apps. Atomic lets him drive. 
But Mist, there in midfield, will keep things locked. G2 continuing to have to avoid bumps. Mist harassing Chicago in net. He's not got a lot here. Avoids first killer, and he's got a full tank. Now he over typical. What does Chicago got here? Atomic racing close, recognizing the chance in front of them. JNaps has a little bit of boost as well. G2 all of a sudden, it starts to pick up, but another big clear from FaZe. Yeah, that, that started to break down a little bit. You realized JNaps really kind of just fighting to buy a little time there in the corner rather than actually set something up. G2 had to give a little ground. They just didn't have the boost to try and keep that press going. And unfortunately for them, they've lost some boost on their own side as well. So they might just resort to dumping the ball up the field a little bit until they can kind of equalize the boost a little bit. Another high touch for Chicago. Back to JNAPS. G2 really trying those soft high touches. Atomic trying to get dirty. G2 unsuccessful again. They're starting to pull a little deeper into their bag of tools but they just can't seem to find the right one to stick on the phase. Typical, grabbing that midfield boost. JNAP's coming back whoa. to stop the attack, but it, whoa, whoa. typical, the dunk saved by Atomic. Can they actually get the ball out though? They're still in a little trouble. JNAP's only 14. Chicago's stuck on the wall. A non-touch, JNAP's gets out, and the rest of phase have rotated out. It was a good idea to fake right there and just kind of see if you pull G2 out of position, but JNAP's had his head on straight. Whoa. Oh, it doesn't matter. Phase collects the clear. Like I say, J2, G2 kind of just took that ball upfield and was trying to keep FaZe honest with a clear, but got a little bit away from JNaps, and he pulled off to go and grab some boost and let First Killer go through the midfield uncontested, and he made a pay. That was just perfect execution from First Killer. Nothing too crazy, you know, nothing, nothing too complex, just a simple flip reset and the shot to the far side and another big win from Sipical in midfield. JNaps nice, hurrying back quick with no boost, had to be careful. Great adjustment from Sipical as well. JNaps kind of went for that fake cut inward and then wheeled around the outside of the ball. It's hot. It grips one top side. JNaps is waiting patiently in the midfield. He didn't want to give anything too far up, but last chance okay. here. JNaps got the reset to Atomic. They just did it again. <laughs> Two games in a row. And G2, zero second Merchants here. Calm under pressure. I mean, talk about the poise from Chicago saying, no, 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 I'll dribble it back. We have five seconds, that's 20. <laughs> <laughs> Dish the ball to JNAPS, works an air dribble around a few defenders. Slides one out to Atomic, and boy, did he bang one that there at the top of the net. Great bit of play at zero seconds from G2. We got a brand new ball game here in game three. <laughs> Faze looking like they were going to close it out. JNAPS has something to say about it. Now overtime has begun. First killer drives underneath one, just punches through Atomic. But now what does Mist do? 61 as he leaves the wall. Chicago coming to challenge him. And a good challenge. Sipical's got the ball. Flicks it high. JNAPS just Ooh. gets there. First killer dove for it. But Sipical still got the ball. First killer in the air. Wanted the bump maybe as he adjusted. Chicago getting harassed. And he's continued to press in the corner. Can they keep winning those 50s? JNAPS. Shake oh. his way by one, and First Killer just makes life hard. Now he's got the read. Here he comes again. First Killer drops it down. Mist sitting back on this. He's going to go. But right up into G2, the backboard holding strong. JNaps is making FaZe work so hard. He's so quick to get up for these challenges. Chicago, bad Whoa. spot. Doesn't matter. First Killer can't convert. Smashes one off the post. The clear goes back down the other way. And FaZe probably could have closed it out right there. But what can you say? You want to make sure you get it around the guy, and you just go too far. JNAP's trying to work quickly. He's out of boost. What? Missed, able to stop Ooh. it. Three point pass and play for FaZe. They need another one. They both come in and they didn't get any power on it. FaZe, they felt the win right there, but they didn't get it. Now here comes Atomic the other way. Kareem's towards, but Typical stops him and distracts. Missed, pops it up over one. First killer too deep. He's got to use all of his boost to get back to it. Chicago now first behind the ball. G2 starting to hunt. Atomic still waiting for Sipical, and he kills the ball, but that's first killers. Sipical in front. Jane Absey doesn't have to contend with a typical touch. He did have to avoid a bump. But here comes Atomic. Back to Jane Absey. It's not over. Ooh. Almost found each other. What demo? Oh, no. oh my gosh. What? <laughs> now that is pinball. I know I've said pinball before. That was actually pinball, and nothing else I've ever seen was. Oh, uh, that again, FaZe really reacting. That's a great demo from First Killer. It has to happen. You can't allow the chance to, to score as that one gets pushed off the backboard and stalled out above the box, but great reactions from everybody from FaZe to not own goal right there. How did you not own goal? <laughs> they, they're about to get scored on. They demo the guy who's going to close it out, and then they go, hello, <laughs> don't panic. We got it. <laughs> oh, great man, what a, what a wild OT.
first killer. Driving down the field. Reset over one. Demo on another. Gotta get Put there, phase. Yeah. Still have the ball. First killer. Denied by Jane Abson. You talked about him earlier. He continues to be a thorn in phase the side on offense. He is a menace. The, that guy is really making sure that phase if they want to be the first of the ball, they got to be willing to kind of give up a little bit of possession with how aggressively he's challenging them. Tomek dishes one a little too far, and JNAPS now he's actually caught out of position, so he'll make the second best play, go steal the boost in the corner, and that actually may work out. But Atomic really doesn't have a lot either. He's just going to try and force the issue. And somehow G2 is going to hang on to the ball here, but you have to imagine they're going to have to give up some space pretty soon, and there it is. Oh, but the first killer doesn't have a lot of boost. He has to come back down. Wasn't enough to shake the ball off Chicago. Missed last back as JNAPS gets a demo. Here comes Chicago, denied by Mist. And a nice uh, little soft touch to Typical <laughs> on the respawn. Seeing G2 have pulled off. Now Typical gets the flick, but Atomic quick read to push it back over to the corner. Oh, and Chicago tried to bite it early. Developing. Here comes Typical back to Mist. Mist <laughs> but Typical gets the goal and phase deliver the win in game three. Look at him just wait here. Hang on, we're not hitting it yet. We're not hitting it yet. Keep buying the free real estate in the corner. He's just put the fear in Atomic that he's going to smash one out to the middle and Atomic just does not want to cut until he sees it. So Sipical just holds him on the string until it's too late, dishes one mid and there's no way Atomic was going to be able to save that one. Great bit of timing from FaZe to close that one out. Man, I, look at the saves on both sides. He had 10 saves from G2. <laughs> and he had 12 saves from what FaZe. Is that? 16 that, that shots out, G2. I think. That's about how I felt. <laughs> Nine, uh, what is that? Uh, 14, 14 for phase. Oh, for and then, phase, yeah, yeah, 16 for G2. So, yeah. <laughs> very, uh, very definitely intense. the most even game we've had so far. That's for We're sure. <laughs> both teams are just getting such clean transitions, like the, but, um, you were talking oh, about how phase, like, uh, have like this more layered approach where they're trying to play mo a little more like Gen G. Uh, and maybe this isn't a, like a Gen G thing, but just the patience to recognize immediately when G2 have pulled off the ball. Yeah, where a lot of in the past, they might just dumped that downfield, right? Exactly. I mean, you saw it when when Sipical was in the box, and I, I, I even said it. I was like, "Awkward help." Yeah. And then, <laughs> and, and then Sipical just didn't even do anything. He just landed because someone calls out, "You have time, you have time," and so they just let the ball land. And then he starts that transition from a place of strength rather than rushing that clear and just pushing it upfield. And he's actually able to convert it into a, a goal scoring opportunity. And, and that all goes back to communication and being aware of the situation. Uh, on the pitch and where the opponents are and what they can actually do and they just figured that one out pretty quick G2 despite the heroic zero second effort a long OT could not separate them ahead of phase chance for phase to put this series on match point early but based on how G2 have looked very well maybe in for a long one that's a deep clear miss gets underneath kick left and um, oh, oh, greedy. Typical <laughs> <laughs> is standing right there at the top of the box. And he wants those points, bro. <laughs> first killer's like, nah, man, I got this. He's trying. He needs to be first in goals per game. It's just not, it's not enough. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I, I don't think first killer actually cares. But if he did, then great. Or maybe well, not. The Another demo. demo. Typical trying to get back. It doesn't matter, though. G wow. Naps will collect. And G2. I mean, you think you're safe right there, and Sipical realized that saw that pass was going to be a little too far. First killer, he was in position. He was deep back, but surprise, surprise, demo in the blind spot. Never saw it coming. And G2 just poke one right down the midfield line, and they may get it back on the kickoff. Atomic quick to shut that down. How's G2 size this one up long? It's going to be difficult when Miss forces you back beyond the midfield. Typical here. Oh, missed with a nice little wheel touch, but Atomic hit that with the corner of his car. I didn't think Atomic would get a chance at that touch. It doesn't matter. FaZe still push forward. <laughs> Jane Naps, last line of defense. Passed right back to him from Chicago. Atomic getting in the way. Whoa. He's got him, but Typical saves. Well, missed from Annihilation, truly. As he pops it right by Chicago. Typical. How about his pushes down? First killer got another touch. Back to miss. Miss. Bow first killer got the oh, ball. It worked. And could you draw that one up again and hit it just as perfectly? I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't think to go towards the wall here with JNAP's camped back there, but the understanding that space killer and first is just going to go up and hit him 
to create the open space on the backboard. That's and the amount of time too, that, that happened, like he got the bump and the shot immediately goes in. Like it was just perfect execution. That's that that is quite an idea. Cer certainly one that is only going to happen in an RLCS match. You will never <laughs> do not do that in your ranked games. Do not just pump one towards the ball because your teammate may go get a demo on the wall. That, that is not a good idea unless you guys know what you're doing. Oh, miss. Got the catch. Phase time to get back. Typical. Done with Chicago. First killer. Done with JNAPS. Typical. It made it work somehow. And now he gets around it as Chicago had to leave for a save. Jane Apps gets there before missed. First killer happy to wait. Chicago actually a little far off the ball here. First killer driving once. Atomic trying to get them back out. Typical continues to delete the opposition. Faze trying to hang on to this ball. Really excellent job on defense what? there. And here's a big chance. Big miscue from Faze. They bump into each other, but that's kind of the difference right there. You saw Chicago immediately rip that one up the field to try and start a counterattack, but that's the difference, I think, right now. You see FaZe, they're, they're aware of the timing. They're aware of this space. They try and use it as much as possible. G2 just feels a little bit like, okay, let's just get it out and let's see what happens. And I don't know if that's necessarily going to be enough. Good read from first killer. Typical up to the ball quick. Got the catch. But it fell down a little too quickly for him. Jane out with a low air dribble. And Atomic just pumps it up quick. Trying to make it awkward for FaZe. Still working towards the box, but there it is again. Just, you get one or two chances both sides. Oh my God, you only get one <laughs> chance against First Killer. He absolutely obliterates G2. Picks up 100 in the corner at the perfect time and he just pumps one towards the backboard and oh. Oh, oh God. Atomic, you're good, but I, I don't think anyone in the RLCS gives respect to the perfect pinpoint shot top left on the backboard read right there. That is a beauty, a thing of beauty from First Killer. Another demo from Cypical. Got four of them so far in this game. Pop down the field. Jane Apps trying to slow it down. A good touch, but missed timing. And it might put G2 in a tough spot here. First killer falling back down on it. G2. Are we in another scenario where we see them just pull out the clutch gene? Or are Faye's gonna make this even more difficult? Jane Apps says no, but First oh. Killer says yes! <laughs> nice bit of shooting here from First Killer. Obviously the pressure from Faye's building and typical really just keeping the defense honest, but deceptive approach right there. Definitely looks like he's just trying to jam one straight through and ends up rotating the car backwards to go to the soft part of the net, the back post. Able to squeak it through a couple defenders with that. Oh! It was a good idea on the kickoff. Neutralize the 50, get it back to Atomic, get a quick hit. Worked earlier for G2, but they got stuffed on it. Chicago waiting downfield. He sees his wingman, but just a little too lofty for Atomic. We need something a little bit harder at the net. Now first killer got the catch out. Another demo missed. Taking one out this time. First killer behind the ball, just lets it hang. Typical. Pops it away, doesn't want to give Atomic a free chance. And FaZe are successful, has missed. Here he comes, off the ceiling, and a soft touch. First killer gonna take that one away. Oh, okay. FaZe have bought themselves plenty of leeway here. They have control of the ball. G2 down by two. Really is time waste mode right now for FaZe. Really trying to just not overthink it. Just put the pressure here on, on Chicago so that they can't convert for free. And then, yep, dump that ball down, close out the clock. And okay, please clan under, I would say 30 seconds, really just focused on just don't push super hard, really just dribble. And we're just gonna make them try and take the ball off us and just make sure we've got people back. That, that was all clock management at that point. Now G2, they do call a timeout here. Trying to just take a breath extra 60 seconds. Maybe Sathew's got some words of encouragement, words of wisdom from Sathew. Sathew says a lot of smart things. He's a smart guy. Uh, but G2, they're a smart team. They know what they have to do. Well, what do you think is going to get by FaZe right now? Because because my, my market cheese, I, I'll be honest with you, FaZe's transitions are like, ultra, ultra fast. They just don't let G2 spend any time. Even, even when they do break through the midfield, like, there just always seems to be a phase car that's got the better of you in their own half. Like G2, it feels like they, they're just, everything dies on offense as soon as they get there. 
Well, that's that's part of what I was hinting at a little bit, right? They, that's why those phased counterattacks, or at least some of their transitions, feel a little bit more put together because there's a bit more awareness taken for the timing of those things. Like, saw so typical just let that ball bounce on his own half when he's under pressure, or at least when you think that he should be under pressure, and they've all got the the, the poise and awareness to communicate and be like, we're not we're we're not in danger here. We can let that bounce, and then you start that counterattack from a place of strength. And sure, even if that lets G two get set, the offense is a lot more potent when you've got two or three people actually ready to go up and really press the defense. And G two, as I started talking about, just kind of feels like sometimes it's. You've got the time and the space, but you're just dumping one down. And obviously it helps when, you know, first killers hitting double taps uh, <laughs> into the top left hand corner from the left side of the net uh, off a double tap that's deep in the corner. Uh, that, that helps, too, of course. But <laughs> I, I really do think that phase are taking their time when they've got their time. And those counterattacks are just a little bit more well thought out. Now, G2. Uh, they've certainly had some convincing pushes. Not not to say like they, they've been flat on offense. I, I don't I don't think that at oh, all. I, certainly not. They're, yeah, this no. Game they put up sixteen shots. Yeah, I mean they, <laughs> they can press. tons of shots. Uh, <laughs> ah, but like I, I don't know. Like I think about all of the demos typical got two of them in particular. They had five total, and two of them absolutely killed what would have been extended G two pushes. It's like it's not all like we always, we always sit up here and say like oh well they were more physical i probably say that a lot but <laughs> it's it's really more about when those demos are happening and, and i think that typical definitely had a big role to play as far as that's concerned so as we head as we're already in to wasteland what do g2 have to do how do they draw this one up how do they get by phase who have been playing an excellent game so far in the tournament gotta start with ball control went for the cheeky pinch all the way down the middle. I honestly would have loved to see that go in the in the phase net, but it was not to be. Came off a little bit soft. And that's where I really think it starts. So in general, if you're G2, gotta focus on ball control. And look at this, like that 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 was not a good touch. And so he just realized I'd rather have boost than go and try and try. What? Oh no 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 no. This cannot be a goal. Uh-oh. Why? There is no okay. Look, look at Simple Goal. He's in the net. He has 36 boosts. Look how soft this is. Atomic even pulls way off that ball. Like I that, think, yeah, but I think he, he jumped played himself. He jumped. He jumped when Atomic jumped though. Yes, because he's, he's, he's like, seen oh, that Atomic's ball come forward. I, but I, I think he misjudged the arc of the ball too, because I think he was more focused on Atomic maybe. Yeah, I think he played himself. That, that's I mean, not a good goal to sure. give up. Nah, who cares? You, you know what's great? Back. You know what's great, <laughs> Chiefs, about playing yourself when you're teaming with First Killer. First Killer's on your team. He's got all the space in the world, bro. You're not gonna save that. And that flipper set's not even fair. I mean, <laughs> JNAP says he's rotating into the net there. His teammate's got a, a pretty decent challenge. Like, he's right in First Killer's face. There's a pretty high chance that at least some part of that challenge tips that ball in a different direction. But the fact First Killer got through so clean and it changed the direction of the ball to go to the back. Pulls the Atomic with a monster dunk, but not rewarded for it. Kicks off the post. Faze just... Honestly, they got away with, I, I, I won't say they got away with a mistake. First killer made a brilliant play to, to equalize what I think was a pretty ugly goal to give up. Certainly, but oh, how about this one? Is this one a little prettier for you, Chiefs? You like that? This one's much better. I, you could definitely say you earned this one if you're G2. This time they take control of that space. They don't start the counterattack too fast. Chicago sizes up that challenge right in front of them, flicks at the proper time. Atomic cherry pick positioning deep up the field. Crisscrosses the defenders as they're trying to swivel back around in the net. Great bit of pass and shoot and timing from G2. I don't think JNAP wanted a, a pure catch there like he got. He had no boost. Couldn't do much with the ball. JNAP's demos a guy on their side of the field. That was typical. So he spawns right in the perfect spot. You can feel that move down field. He's just been so... Every time he just comes down to the side on the ramp, he just doesn't lose a single contest. Typical literally does not lose a single contest when he goes from his side of the field, whether he's on the wall or the ramp, he can have four cars barrel on him at once. Typical's still going to win the 50 and give first killer the goal. And he, and he took all the space there in the midfield. He's like, well, G2 backed off. Okay, I, I just let this ball come down and, and think about how to get this ball to first killer in the most optimal way to shoot. What does first killer do at that point? Well, Atomic's stuck on the backboard. Just shoot it right where he's about to fall off and no one's gonna save this. <laughs> 
I don't think first killer knows how to not be involved. Just this man Ooh, okay. is insane. Always can be relied on. Especially when you got a guy like Sipico who's winning the midfield like he has been. You're gonna be eating pretty good. Sipical though. Ah, one gets sent away. I'll do just that. And stick right behind it. Almost gave Sipical a chance to win that against Jane Apps. This gets bumped out of the way. First killer knows he's gotta get set. Ooh. And he got there quickly. Excellent read there from first killer. Atomic was going for the real tester shot. He was thinking, you know, maybe FaZe isn't gonna give me the respect for putting this one on target. First killer knows better. He's he's played too much against Atomic. <laughs> it's true. But G2, they've still been able to break through that phase line. Go knock the ball away again. I, I'm just, I'm starting to get that feeling. I, I know it's tied. Most of these games have been one goal games or tied, but it just feels like phase has a little bit more. Like they, they have a, just a, a bit more threat than G2 do. Sure, G2 have had the threatening touch and they've had their chances downfield. They're even getting some demos. Phase though, look, they stuff him right there. It's typical, just drills through another 50. Straight to the neutral part of the field. Nothing wrong with that. But here's a good push from, whoa. Oh. <laughs> See, the Almost thing about a watching push. a player like Atomic <laughs> is he's so good, you could totally believe that he like misses that air, like he fakes the, like, like he gets the flip reset and then he misses the ball on purpose, right? And he'd be like, right. oh, but he's going for the demo. And you just never know, right? It's like, okay, did you plan that or did you just miss it? <laughs> it's so hard when they're this good. You're like, I could, yeah, I could see a world where he was definitely going for a fake there. But either way, FaZe still managing the ball well on defense, but G2 are starting to win the challenges a lot more. That can all turn on its Ooh. head real quickly because Sipical shot denied by Atomic as Mist puts it underneath, Whoa. but it's off the post. Whoa. And there's Sipical! He just won't leave! He plants his flag, he's sitting a lot. Yeah, that's so frustrating that that really can't go in. Uh, Chicago, I think, really expected Atomic to come up with a touch right there, and I don't think he thought there was any world where that ball got through unscathed and just rolled up the post like that, threw him for a loop as the second man in the net. And Whoa. FaZe again finds a way to put themselves in the lead sub one minute. Not the first time that's happened in this series. <laughs> not the star, not even the second time it's happened in this series. JNAPS underneath one fake. JNAPS denied. First killer. Done watching JNAPS just uh, Sunday drive his Sunday stroll his way through the orange half. Now Chicago with 31. Trying to catch missed out. Hard to do though. JNAPS following it close. Doesn't get a second touch. Like he's rolling for one. Oh, oh and right on top of him. A big win from first killer. ABG2 have something here with 20 seconds. Jane Apps looking for a bump. Who's the 50? Oof. And there's Mist. He might end it right there, but taken away. First killer got the first, the second, oh. the third. First killer around wow. the world and keeps time on his side. But G2, they've done it twice. Can they do it thrice? Jane Apps. Over high, first killer oh. kills the ball. FaZe Clan absolutely wiped the competition off the map in the Winter Invitational. Undisputed.